Hello everybody and welcome to a new video tutorial from Dr. Lerias Wall and today we are going to talk about Lumion. So we are going to see this video tutorial working with an exterior theme and you'll see how I work in this theme and most of the parameters I use to make this realistic render. So like always guys, if you like, if you are learning, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and let's go to the party. So the first thing, don't worry if you are working with another 3D modeling software like SketchUp, Reno, uh, Maya. In this case, this model is initially created in SketchUp and exported using FAX format to 3ds Max. This is because I feel more comfortable working with 3ds Max. And also I need to tell you that I know using here my usual workflow. I used to work making my building in one side and in the other side I designed every furniture and my decoration. So I export every model separated I like that I can use it in another project. So I want to show you a general overview of this thing. Look at these models here. Uh, we have a high quality models. Also we are not working here our textures and the materials because we can do it later in Lumion and we have more control. But like that you have a great idea how I designed this model. In general terms we are working with an optimized model and also we are using more high quality models for our furniture and decoration. And now we are here in Lumion with our thing and I want to show you the main parameters we are using, materials, light, everything. And also we'll see our render settings. So look at this here in this world. This is really important in this project because we want to work with a more natural material. This is like a Mediterranean house and in general terms we want to work with natural materials making sunny perfection, as you can see here in these slats. And also working with high details and great quality models. So this is something important because I usually work the highest quality, but also we need to care about the performance. But in this case, it's working great. Look at this here, we are working maybe at 15 or 20 frames per second. So in this case, the best thing you can do is uh, try to get most of the quality in every model because when you are working here in Lumion and you go to your photo mode and you don't know what a kind of run that you want to do, but also thinking about your performance. Sometimes you think I want to make a shot like that and I'm not caring about these models and after some minutes you go closer and you say, oh, I'm using a low poly model here and I'm messing up my render. And what about the materials? This is something really important. So look at this material here. We have our diffuse, we have our normal map also. Also I'm painting here a little bit my texture with this white color. This is because I'm using here a darker diffuse map and I want to have this material a little bit cleaner and whiter. But I would recommend that you work every kind of materials that you have in your theme. So like that, try that all the materials that you are using are more realistic and also have some character. Okay, and now here we talk about the lighting and this is an exterior project, as you see. So we are using our skylight. But also I will recommend that you use sunlights like this ones. And also I will recommend that you place sunlights in your interior. Look at this light here, for example or maybe here, okay? So in this way you can create warmer interiors and with a higher quality. Also I used to work with warm lighting for the interiors. This is because it gives me a more striking feeling and as you can see also the lighting is more impressive. So with the decoration I'm using here some Lumion decoration I'm not a fan of Lumion decoration, but to fill in sun spots in our thing works pretty well. And let's look at our vegetation. Look at this here. This at the beginning it was a brick wall, but my customer decided to use like a vegetation wall. Also we have here some trees, some palm trees, some bushes. And the main thing is try to fill every point of view like this or like this one that we do in our renders. Okay. And also something important. We have here a background using a cylinder and we are using a texture with an alpha channel. Okay. And this will be the real environment of our site. 
And now we have here the main theme of this tutorial. This is our render settings. I'm going to turn off the reflections to work faster. And this will be my starting point. As you can see, I'm using a realistic preset, but also we need to change some parameters. These are our lens flares. I'm using here, for example, the ghosting. Also, sun intensity to make this glowing lighting. You really know how it's working this effect and we have nothing more to say. So here are our skylight. I'm using here higher values, as you can see. This mainly because I want that the skylight affect more to my steam. And also look at this, I'm using this preset. Ok, and also our exposure. In this case I'm using a slightly lower value to avoid binary in sentine areas. And also our color correction here. I'm using a higher value also for the temperature. This because I want to make my render warmer. But you know, I don't like to adjust too many parameters in the color corrections since they are adjustments that we can define better when we have our finished render. Maybe adding some contrast and also trying to play with our brightness but no much more. So talking about the reflections, you really know this preset. Um, the only thing we need to do is add the plane reflection in all your mirrors, in your swimming pool, in all the materials that are important. So let's check it here in preview mode using higher value in our reflection and everything is looking great. Okay. I'm using also deeper light, this uh, default value. I don't like to use too much deeper light and of course in video you can see for example some light leakings. I'm using here the skylight and look at this, we are using a higher value. I'm using also the high quality for the render. And this is because I want to have more skylight, these blue tones in our thing. I want that this affects to every part of my model. But also I would recommend that you check it in your final render, because this could change a little bit. And now the shadows. This is one of the most controversial parameters in Lumion. I have set it here, my brightness for example, and also the only shadow. The only shadow is a really sweet parameter, but you need to be careful, because you can have really great shadows and you can have your skin really with a realistic quality. But if you set a higher value like that, let me see here. These kind of shadows or I mean occlusion are very common in Lumion and I especially don't like it. In other rendering engines like V-Ray or Corona, this effect looks more realistic and more natural. So this is something we know we have it in Lumion. We cannot set our omni shadow value like zero because we can make our thing to flat. So like that something is really important is that we must work with these both sliders, the brightness and the omni shadows and see how it's working our final result. So for now let's do a render in 4K. Ok, now we got it here. Takes 4 minutes more or less. It takes longer and this because I'm making this screen recording. So now we got it and let's look at our render in Photoshop. Um, let's open our camera raw. So here we can adjust some values, for example the contrast, uh, maybe exposure, um, maybe with the highlight shadows. I always recommend to make this adjustment that you see reference uh, using other renderings and other photographs that are similar to your theme. This is really important. So we got it here, this is our final render. Okay. What I want to share with you in this video tutorial was a simple overview of this project and also the effects and the parameters that I'm using here. And of course, as you already know, Lumion is a powerful tool, but this is not automatic, okay? So I would recommend that you work I recommend that you work well with your models, with your materials, with your lighting, effects, with everything. As you can see here, the fact is that this is an exterior thing and does not mean that we don't have to illuminate the interior. It also gives a lot of character to our render. I hope you liked this video tutorial, so if you want to support me, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye!